Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7 Part 18. And the reason I am starting off in battle already is because it took me a little while to find this enemy. So basically this is our next enemy skill and it's level 4 suicide. And it comes from this enemy right here. But the reason I didn't include getting it from him is because it takes a little while to get. Um, and we'll need that to get our next enemy skill. So you can find them here right next to the Chocobo Ranch. So I did that off screen so that you guys uh, know which enemy to get it from. And you didn't have to painstakingly... That's level 4 suicide right there. Uh, you didn't have to watch me... Um, yeah. Wait for... It's, it really wasn't that bad. It was... Honestly like 15 minutes, but By all means if I can cut 15 minutes out of my videos, then So be it. I got a lot of gameplay to get done Shadow extreme here shadow X baby shadow stream and You know, okay. We got blade beam cool our second tier limit break. Um Yeah, so this is the chocobo ranch. I'm gonna go back to the calm lands um or not the the calm lands I really just said the calm lands the city of calm because I need to, I didn't buy any weapons or anything I wanted to do that on screen so this is the chocobo ranch and if you turn this way um, this we need to get through this area and that's why we need a chocobo technically I can get through um, I don't really know if I want to chance it though and there's a little trick where you run straight into this corner right here and when he chases you he can't get you and you can run straight to the mithril mines but we don't even know where we need to go yet <clears throat> because all I did was excuse me once again there's the Midgar zone uh, once again we uh, I guess we're here we might as well get the uh... no I'm gonna come back not that way let's see we need to go this way yep see that analog spin that was not me so that was all controller doing yeah it's doing it itself that's pretty horrible yeah but I am proud to say the internet we will, I will have uh, some brand new internet speed coming up here on I think Sunday I believe so I'm really stoked about that. <laughs> Definitely be able to stream now on Twitch, so and I'll be able to stream live. Uh, I should be able to stream live. Uh, you know, I should be able to stream PS4 games, but we don't know for sure yet. If I'm having trouble streaming a PlayStation 2 game that's just a remaster on the PS4, yeah. I got to, you know what, it's decisions like this, what comes first, a microphone or a controller? Because honestly, they're about the same price. Well, depending on what you're getting. So I'm just going to use these L1 and R1 buttons to, well, yeah. see, look at there, it's just still going. What a mess. So it looks like Horizon Zero Dawn will be on pause until I get a new controller. And since I got level 4 suicide, I'm going to go ahead and save my game. Right out here again. And I guess we'll just uh, go ahead and save over the last one. So I started playing today at 1348 and yeah, it's only 13, so 11 minutes to get the enemy skill. So you've seen the enemy, you've seen uh, where I was in front of the Chocobo Ranch, but make sure you do not have the Chocobo Lure Materia equipped to anybody, because then you'll just get the Chocobos. Unless, I mean, you go off the tracks, of course, so. It's been a while, so. You know, I was thinking the last episode, I said I pretty much know everything, so if, if there's anything you guys want to mention, by the way, this match your magic skill is amazing for multiple enemies and a good way to get kills. 
for Aerith early game. I, uh, there's no way that, I mean, oh, received talisman, cool. Um, there's no way that I know absolutely everything. When I said that, I meant all of them up. Oh, great. Um, you want to get those leveled up as soon as you want to master those as soon as you can because once you master an all materia you can sell that for 1.4 million and there is a trophy in here to reach the max skill account of uh, I think it is 99 million which uh, yeah um, I'm gonna do a little bit of materia switching around here so you know just look on the screen and uh, fast forward if you need to um, let's see here all and poison that's that's what I gave him but we want to give him all in what's going on here oh arrange exchange I was wondering like what's going on yeah you have to get used to these uh, honestly I didn't get used to these until post game but yeah it's a uh, different forgot what I was doing there sorry yeah I think the Naki was meant to have fire all fire <laughs> fire fire and Barrett has all in restore so I'm gonna go ahead and switch Cloud has huh okay yeah you can never have too many so all right we got our enemy skill and I said I was gonna switch the material around but honestly that's all I really needed to do I just um, elemental fire I don't really think we need that anymore but I will um, defend against it for now uh, I don't think we're gonna have any lightning or ice enemies for yeah definitely not any ice enemies for a while so did I save yeah I did okay so we're basically we finished up on the story uh, last session uh, get it off get it off get it off um, yeah we finished up the story so the next important thing is I didn't know if we had to have Barrett or not in the party so we need to come in here and we need to make sure that Barrett is in your party once again I have Barrett and Red 13 and I will be getting all of Barrett's limit breaks but I uh, will probably do that right after Gold Saucer and I will show you them gradually um, over time but have Barrett in your party and after that come talk to this lady thanks to Mako Energy life's pretty darn convenient thanks to Shinra don't you think here make sure Barrett's in your party and tell her you're full of it but I'd hate to think of what life would be without Mako Energy and then huh I thought Barrett was gonna come out and say something I hope I didn't do that wrong. Mako Energy's made things a lot more convenient, but a lot of plants and animals have been disappearing at a rapid pace. I think old life was better. And here you need to answer, yeah, maybe. I could have swore I thought Barrett was going to come out or something like that, but maybe it's just the questions asked, so... Those are supposed to be plus twos on Barrett, I believe. Are there either plus twos or plus fives? Um, once again, I, w I will link the description. I gotta do is Google it, of course, but uh, if you don't like to do that on your playthroughs, then you can just Google the, uh, the guide instead of watching somebody do it. So, but if you are the type, then that's what you need to do. Did you say you came from Midgar? I used to live there too, but they got lots of troubles lately. Okay. And these chests are so tempting. Lock can't open it. Eventually, um, I, I figured out uh, from, I heard it for, at 4-8 Productions on one of his videos, uh, Death Unites Us. Um, 
they were originally going to put the, uh, I think it was the Kujata materia in there instead of putting it where it is. I think it's in the ancient forest. Um, anyways, yeah, that's where originally they were going to put the Kujata. Kujata? I hope I'm not butchering that too bad, but that is a fun fact for you guys. So, yeah. Definitely, definitely did my research. Uh, I did my research before I uh, played the game, but the things I didn't research were like, uh, was there a certain time when I needed to go answer those two questions? I don't know if you needed to do it before or after the whole flashback. I tried it before and then you guys see me do a soft reset and reload and so I did it after. So uh, I promised myself I wouldn't pull out my phone. The only time I'm pulling out my phone on this playthrough is to spell check. So yeah, I'm just trying to go straight off memory here. So that's why in the last episode when I was saying that I pretty much know everything, I meant with mechanics, gameplay, enemy skills, that type of thing, and where everything is, I know that. But if you guys wanted to tell me like, oh, sh you missed something, or hey, uh, why don't you try, you know, putting this here, or you know, like, uh, uh, what is it, death blow with out of the fact with this 255% accuracy weapon, sniper CR, whatever. Anything like that, yeah, go ahead, drop it. But if it's Peacemaker, I'm not really sure what that is. It is a weapon for Barrett? No? Huh. Wow. Well, that was a big spoil. No, I think that's uh, somebody else's uh, weapon. Um, I can't tell if that's a gun or a shuriken. It's pretty bad. Either way, we won't have those for a little while, but it's kind of a spoil, and I wouldn't have even grabbed that right now if I knew that. There was a suspicious-looking man in a black cloak. He was carrying a mean looking sword. It's not very mean looking, just very long. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a soldier. That's why I'm training hard now. My older brother's so stupid, he's so embarrassing, I could just puke. And there's nothing in here to take, I don't believe. It's funny. In Zelda, you actually uh, get yelled at a few times when you go in house and just go in somebody's house and just start breaking pots. Here you just uh, go inside wherever you want. Ah, uh, get it off, 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 get it off. Dude, I'm gonna make a meme out of that, I promise you. Okay, so this is pretty, uh, it's a it's a spoiler, but um, I just wanted to include it. Is it true that Shinra makes monsters? Oh, wow. I don't know what... You know what? This is not an affection-based answer, so it does not matter what you say. But yes, it's true. Yeah, well, either way, as long as we use reactors, we can't stand up to Shinra. Maybe I should have answered something different. I don't know, but you know what? I'm pretty strapped up, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move the Naki to the front because I tend to hit the attack button a lot, so. And this is the infamous Comb Traveler. Oh, if we only know what he is sitting on right now. I got my health and enough to eat. All's well. The world's at peace. All's well. Okay, well, <laughs> open this damn drawer. Open it. Open it. 
Ah, uh, all right. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I gotta put some kind of humor in the videos. Get it off. Get it off. All right. I will make a video about that though. Okay, sorry, I was uh, thinking for a minute there about something. But yeah, uh, subscribers have been on a hold pretty much. It was uh, a rough start. This is the item store. But if you guys would uh, hit that like button or, di or dislike button, uh, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be running through this game. And if I can uh, develop this fan base even further, um, oh, I'm definitely gonna grab a few more tranquilizers and I'm gonna grab like 10 hypers or eight. And well, no, I'm not gonna spend any more money right this second. We're good. So, yeah, uh, guys, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Um, the watch time isn't the problem the uh, subscribers like I said my goal is change 180 so let's talk to this guy first enough about that I'll talk about that in a different video and as you can see if you did not steal the hard edge the only increase in strength you're gonna get is 23 if you did not steal the atomic scissors for Barrett you're only gonna get to 23 but for Tifa, we can get up to 24. But we're not going to do that because I know there's a weapon coming up for Tifa we can get as well from Steel. And if you stole Aerith's weapon and watched, uh, I believe that's either uh, part 11, 12, or 13, where I show you how to get the striking staff. Yeah, so... I'm very ahead so all of this is use useless to me so right that's the benefits of uh, stealing from your enemies and knowing which ones to steal from and knowing which ones to get your enemy skills this is the materia store this is where we want to be okay we want a earth so now I have one earth we have one poison and to be honest I'm gonna buy I always do this I don't know why I'm gonna buy I'm just gonna buy one heal for now and I'm gonna buy one more steel and one more earth um, I do things just a little bit different guys so like I said if you want to drop your feedback it's more than appreciated if you're even dropping by I appreciate it ice lightning restore fire poison ice okay um, let's get rid of those useless senseless sense materials okay well we don't really need to okay yeah we want Asuna even though I really never use it uh, yeah so heal and since Naki's my little wizard type dude I'm going to give him um, uh, I think I'll give him earth instead and cloud we can get rid of this sense and we'll go ahead and give Cloud poison. Cloud can throw the effects down. Um, let's see here. Sense, we can get rid of this. And give uh, Barret steel. And then, uh, okay, I was gonna give lightning, ice, earth, fire. Okay, he's got everything. So, we'll give but Cloud has, um, 
Okay. Yeah, we'll give this to Barrett. Alright, so we're strapped now. And honestly, I don't need the sense of material. Sorry that took so long, guys. But now we're all sorted out. Got plenty of materia. And if you run into your materia on any character and hit arrange, boom. It'll arrange it in order from command to independent to magic to support to added effect or, or support independent magic, uh, you know, master command or whatever it is. So I think that's it, guys. Honestly, yeah, I didn't really need much, did I? Um, if you steal those weapons, there's really no reason to. So all I can do is go out here, and what I'm gonna do is save over where I was before. Actually, 1359. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Actually, I'm just gonna make a new save right here. No, that doesn't make sense. Midgar area 13, Midgar area 59. Yeah, just save right there. And yeah, I'll continue to use these four, or these three. 14, 14, and the way I'll know that is by saving over this. Okay, so there, it's I have a complicated way of doing things, but the reason I did it that way is because if I need to go back in a different order, um, then I'll just come right here, you know, uh, before I talk to that person. So. Oh, actually, yeah. Or I'm, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm getting into it too much. I figure like I, I start to bore you guys when I talk about that so much, so I apologize. So we'll just make our way over here. And you see, like, I'm only tapping the uh, analog stick, and it's all over the place. So I am going to use, um, And I figured we'd go ahead and get uh, Monaki some kills while we can. I really like, I really want to get a lot of gameplay done. Um, but I want to get, um, I believe we're about to get our first summon, our first chocobo, and, um, Let's see here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can use the analog stick, or the, the D-pad. Because I can continue to play this, and I should be able to get the controller soon. It's really bad. Uh, and these are the enemies you can still atomic scissors from, if you remember. Oh, I forgot to set Cloud's uh, limit. Poison. Oh, okay, that's what you start off with. You can heal uh, as soon as you buy the heal materia. You can uh, use Poison and you no longer have to buy antidotes. But I still would have some. There's an area in the game where you can get many uh, remedies for drops. And uh, once again, I gotta remind you guys that this is like a live, this is pretty much a live stream. But this weekend, it will be able to be live. And I'm stoked. So yeah, we're gonna head back to Chocobo Ranch. I'm really upset about the controller situation. And I took the elemental attack off of Cloud. So for now, um, I'm not gonna do much grinding. There's a certain area where we can get up about 10 levels 
in a relatively short time so I'll show you where it's at and I'll grind up a little bit off camera um, yeah okay see if you use the if you want to use the d-pad on the ps4 you can and feel more old school you can use the L1 and R1 buttons to toggle around instead of you know using these messed up analog buttons I have and here's the enemy again for level 4 suicide it's called the Mew Mew I don't know for anyone that level 4 suicide there it is right there you guys seen it on camera that's what you need and if you have I think what it is if you can multiply that person's limit or that person's level if it's like a multi, like a level 5 10 or no 4 4 8 12 I'm not really sure so I do not know everything about this game so if someone wants to let me know in the description that would be great And this is another thing I noted down about every enemy skill. Um, and it's said to be very patient and to, if you want, you can wait until later in the game you get a certain skill to make it easier on you. But, uh, who, what's the fun of that? I just got done playing this on PS1 original uh, because I couldn't afford a PS4, but a PS4 fell on my hands. So, um, now that I have it, uh, I am really upset about this controller that I got with it, um, but we'll make do for now. So uh, yeah, I'll make another quick save right here since I've already. Yeah, not much I can do. The only reason I have this here is to rem these two is to know that if I need to go back. And I can load this file up and talk to them at a later time. But I'm pretty sure as long as you answer those questions. And I believe there should be a material. Huh. Maybe you have to come in at a certain. No. It's right here. No, okay. I think it's, I think it's, it'll be available to us eventually, and it's really no good. But first, we're going to, um, see, using the analog stick, it's like impossible to face these people. The left, it's so sensitive. Work! And you need to do one of these back, I believe it's this one, we'll find out. And, okay, it's the first one. And they'll do a little dance for us. Chocobo. I want to ride my Chocobo all day long. You want to ride my Chocobo. I love that theme, the Chocobo theme, the metal theme from 13-2. That was one of my favorite Chocobo themes. Uh, the only re I do love this one, but the only reason, uh, you know, I can go without is because received Choco Mog materia. So, this is not Mog's first appearance or Chocobo's first appearance, um, but it is our first summon materia. So, I think we'll give that to Nanaki because it should boost his magic up but not much more than max HP minus 2 max MP plus 2 it's the same thing and it's wind but we don't have wind yet so yeah I think I'm gonna have to give him this other than restore We're, we got two restores on deck and to be honest I don't really need to repair uh, I guess we should level up the elemental. 
Um, but what else we need to do is go in here. Not thinking of crossing the marshes. Yeah. Hmm. Then it would probably be safer for you to get a chocobo. That way you can zip through the marshes with the chocobo. It's the only way to avoid being attacked by the Midgar Zolum. Midgar Zolum. It's a serpent-like creature over 30 feet tall. It detects the footsteps of anyone in the marshes. And then, bam, it attacks. To avoid that, buy a chocobo at me and Choco Billy's chocobo farm. That's a tongue twister. To purchase a chocobo, please talk to my grandson. He's in front of the chocobo stables at the far right end of the farm. Okay. I wish I could use it my PS3 or PS2 controller for this. I really do. Looking for an in. Um. Yes. Okay, that's not too bad. So we get to heal up. And basically, you know, you get full heal on your MP and HP uh, for 100 instead of using a tent out of save or on the world map for 500 so that's definitely a, anything below 500 is honestly worth it to me so you can see I'm not holding <clears throat> the run button down right here so that's the analog the cheapest solution I can do is get I think there's a PS4 controller with a cord for $7.99 on Amazon if I can't get that then I don't know when because I know a new PS4 controller is about $50. Sorry about that. I had to fuel up. Monster Energy, baby. Shadow Extreme. Monster Energy. And you guys got to remember, this is pretty much a live stream. The only reason I'm doing it like this is because I uh, there's no reason to editing well there is reason to edit but right now it's just quicker I have to build my fan base up so so that's worse get it off get it off do you want a chocobo? Give me one. You old folks are out of luck. Sorry, had to reposition the mic there. You old folks are out of luck. Old folks. We're all out of chocobos. I'm taking care of the ones out there for someone else. You know, if you really want a chocobo, you should go out and catch one. And we will get our gold chocobo later. I promise to show you how. There's many guides on how to get it. There's also a guide to get it with no racing at all. But I actually enjoy the racing. Um, you know, when you get to the A and S classes, it's actually challenging. And with the times three speed, I will be using that for the chocobo races. Um, no, I know how to do it and I'm gonna show you guys. So sh yes, we should get down to business. So you're gonna need 2000 gil for uh, right, right away for this tr uh, chocobo lure and well we gotta buy it thanks it wouldn't hurt to buy some greens either oh and how fast the chocobo will finish eating depends on what time of greens you feed them well right now um, we're only gonna buy some uh, mimic greens and I'll buy 10 of them uh, I said mimic I meant gyasha Mimic greens. <clears throat> you guys will uh, get into the whole chocobo thing later. And I know if anybody is even actually watching this, fan wise, they know what's going on. So, um, I don't know what I've decided to do yet. Let's see. Okay. Um, well, I'll include what well, we need to first give somebody this, uh, 
I guess we can take off steel. Give Cloud Chocobo lure. So we need to find a level 16 Chocobo. And we'll know what kind it is because it comes with a certain enemy. And this is not it. Um, oops. Oh, well, he's gone anyway, so. And that's why I put Inaki in the front. If I want to and can't run away, I can just go ahead and attack with the X button. Oh, I forgot to set his stupid limit break again. Uh, let me take a look at my notes here to make sure that wasn't... We need to use level 4 suicide on a level 16 chocobo to get the enemy skill chocobuckle. And it's not one I particularly use, but uh, it's still nice to grab. So, taking a look at my notes here. And I believe it appears with two uh, birds, but I'm not sure, so. Just a second here, guys. I apologize. I guess running around won't hurt. Um... I may or may not edit this out. Um, I just want to make sure. I believe it's uh, with two two birds. And I'm flipping through these pages right now. I appreciate any likes, any subscribes. You guys know what's up. Show some support to me, and I will gladly show you some support as well. Okay, you know what? I can't find it. We're just gonna have to uh, put the uh, throw greens down and use the uh, sense materia to figure out if uh, we don't need steel on right now. So we'll just give him uh, sense. <laughs> Sorry about that. Once again. Oh, my analog stick. That's very annoying. Very annoying. And I had a, a, a slight volume increase right there. So first thing you want to do is throw down. Oh, I should have put that the first. Oh, well, I'm gonna run from this battle because I need to customize my items. Guess we won't do any running. And for the those of you that play on Steam, I know it's got to be even harder with that Xbox controller. If you watch a lot of people's playthroughs, you'll hear them complaining about uh, how touchy the analog is because we're so used to playing it on PS1 that, uh, okay, yeah, what I need to do is go to Arrange, Customize, and we're going to go to our greens and we're going to um, put that up here. So it'll be the first item we can get. And I'm also going to throw a hyper. Oh, I, I want to use one. Damn it. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I'm going to throw a hyper on red 13. 
and Barret. Um, and I'm gonna use... No, you know what, that'll be fine. And we'll go ahead and throw... Ah, whatever. We wanna build those limits up fast. In my Patreon account, you guys, that's only for when, obviously, I develop a very likable fan base. I think this may be it. I, I don't know. Come on, go, 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 since. All right, I threw the greens first. And we'll go ahead and get these rid of these guys. Yep, a level 16 chocobo. Okay, so we want to keep him here. I'm just going to keep throwing greens and get rid of uh, these guys. Hopefully we can keep him here. And we'll throw another greens just in case. Because that is our level 16 chocobo. And it would be awesome to get this right now. And you also want to do this without harming the chocobo. No. Bolt. I'm going to throw one more. Just to make sure he's occupied. Okay. Oh my god. I caught him instead. Wow. Okay. That was a super big error oh god well now you guys know how to catch a chocobo but unfortunately we have to let this guy go I wasn't thinking straight oh well see you later dude so now we know I'm just gonna put this times three on until we get to So you guys don't have to suffer. Okay, we're right back here. I'm taking the times three off. So right away, we want to throw the Gyasha greens. And I'm not even going to bother. Um, I'm just going to use level four suicide right away. So you need to use level four suicide on a... on. Um, a level 16 chocobo. I know that's a tongue twister. What? Did I do something wrong? Huh. Okay. I know I said I wouldn't use the times three, but... Um, I really don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's, uh, this one? Oh, God. It's really hard, uh, hard to do. Because oh, you know what? Damn it. I know why. The f <sighs> I'm such an idiot. By the way. Take the cho the chocobo lure off. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So hopefully, um, we'll be able to get this. Uh, and I still need to set clouds on the break too. So you guys can tell it's been a while. And yeah, uh, you could say this is uh, cheating, whatever. Um, but I I just want to get back to. And I'm going to go ahead and do this before I forget. So you just go to level 2 and set. And you'll start from 0 again. But you need to if you want to get them all. So now that we know. <laughs> I can't believe it. So you do need to kill the enemies. But. Uh, oh my god. So you do need to kill the enemies. But. Oh my gosh. 
It's a good way to get a game over. This is uh, starting to make me a little upset the way my controller is behaving. And it's because I have Fury on. Okay. Wow, the controller is horrible, and you guys can really see that. I'm times three speed. This is really hard to do. Wait a second, you need the chocobo lure on. Okay, so I'm doing something wrong here. chocobo lure on again because you can't lure a chocobo without the chocobo lure so okay so here we go we take this off Gasha greens and I'm gonna use sled fang to take out one of them and the reason it needs to be a level 16 chocobo, I know for sure, is because... You have to, um... Level 4 suicide has to work on it. But he has to, uh, use the move. Oh god. I think he needs to be eating. I'm just gonna keep throwing these. Are you serious, dude? Oh yeah, I just threw a Gyasha Greens to uh... You know what, this is just getting on my nerves. But I'm glad that you guys see this. And a lot of people would edit this out, but this is the pain that you will have to go through. Next time I get them, I'm just going to open up with uh, level 4 suicide. I really am sorry about this, guys. But you guys uh, need to know how much time it's going to take. And if I don't have the times 3 on, we'll be here all day. Maybe I'm using it on the wrong chocobo. So we'll go ahead and try um, this one. And enemy skill level 4 suicide. Yeah, see? It has to be... And now I only have one... Um, Yasha green left so but and I keep using big shot instead of mind blow oh it is a tough skill to get but it's very possible but um, he has to use it on okay here we go this is uh, the best chance I got Enemy skill, level 4 suicide.
I don't understand why he's not using it. Let me, um, look into this, guys. And I will get back to you, um, in the next episode. I'm not going to, uh, continue to do this all day. So we got our summon materia and we got our uh summon materia. Okay, I think we need to find the ones that appear with roly polies maybe so maybe it's in a different area that's the problem I think hang tight here or just look forward uh, I'm reading okay so my notes say to get it in Medeal but you can get it here but you need the I think it needs to do enough damage, either that or we're just uh, not, we're getting very unlucky. So we will find out here shortly. How much skill do I have? Okay. My deal. Okay, no, I need to speak with Choco Billy. Hopefully, uh, we can start this, um, I don't know, cutting it pretty close here. There is an absolute I do not want my videos to be longer than really 30 minutes, but sometimes you have to uh, do, um, you have to uh, make sacrifices, I guess. So, my guess is just to keep trying, I guess. I don't know. I don't care if we have sadness, we'll take less damage. And what I'm going to do is switch the configuration to... Wait. Um, just until we get that skill. So, let's keep going. Okay, right off the bat. So, item. Yasha Greens. And we're gonna get rid of one of these guys. I think the problem is I'm not leveled up enough. But maybe if I take one of them out. Okay, enemy skill, level four suicide. Okay, yeah, it's not doing enough damage. 
I will try one more thing before I end the video. Because we know that's a level 16, uh... A level 16 Chocobo, so... We will head to the deal. Um, let's see here. Okay, there's some more tracks over here. Wow. So, we need to find the ones with the roly polies. Um, since. Oh, wow, he ran quick. Yeah, thanks, Barrett. <laughs> well, at least you guys get to see me make some mistakes. And you get to roast me and tell me what's going on here. What I'm doing wrong. Okay, so here he is again. I do not know why. I think it may be because... You know what I'm going to do? Is if he doesn't do it this time... Then I'm going to give it the enemy skill to Cloud and maybe he'll be able to do the damage I need to. Because there's no reason... Huh. This is really something else. Let me run away here. Alright guys, you know what? I really apologize, but this has been a bit annoying. And I know for sure that you need level 4 suicide to get this. But we did get level 4 suicide in this episode, and we did get our summon, and you've seen a few other things as well. So, this has been part 18. Wow. Yeah. Okay, thanks guys. I apologize. I'm going to figure this out, and I will be right back with part 19. So, thank you for watching. This is Shadow X. If you came this far, I want to say thank you so much for your support if you want to drop a comment and tell me or about your content i would gladly love to drop in um thank you if for watching everybody and i will be back shortly with part 19 and show you how to get this skill okay thank you have a beautiful day